What's up Helix users, Steve Sterlacci, and we are looking at a two minute tip today live from our little outdoor rehearsal that we're having in the driveway here. So the problem that we're gonna solve here is, say you have a preset that's dialed in for the longest time, it's your favorite preset ever, and your artist, or in my case, my wife, says that she wants effects added on a certain part of a song, but you've already got your snapshots dialed in, and the problem is that when you put a new effect into a preset, it becomes active in all the snapshots. Wouldn't you like to be able to only add that block to that snapshot, not have to cycle through and bypass it in all of the other snapshots? Let's show you how. Before we get to that quick lunch break, <laughs> since she's the one that makes me add effects to different parts of the songs, after they're already dialed in, it's only fair that she brings me a pizza. <laughs> Audrey's like, I want some of that. <laughs> All right, so the problem here, we're going full production quality with the uh, cell phone on the fly here. See, I want to add a block here. Okay, so I'm going to do this without looking, I guess. Hold on. Okay, I'll go modulation effect. Um, let's just add anything, whatever it is. Let's say the 60s tremolo. So now, when I put it here, I'm like, okay, great. And I want it bypassed, right? So now when I go to all my other snapshots, I'm clicking to snapshots if you can't see here. You'll see that it needs to be bypassed in every single snapshot, which is a huge pain in the butt. So here's a little trick that um, I discovered through my friend JB Eckel by way of Eric Klein, the one who designed the Helix. So say we have this on this snapshot. I only want this to be on this snapshot, okay? So I'm going to hit bypass. So now it's bypassed. Now I'm going to go action. And I'm going to copy this block. And then I'm going to go action. And then I'm going to clear the block. So now the block is totally gone. And now I'm going to again hit action. And I'm going to paste the block. So now it's bypassed in every single snapshot. And I can just hit the bypass button up here to assign it to the snapshot that I want, and it won't carry over to the others. So that's a quick on the fly two minute tip from a rehearsal, show you guys a cool little useful tip that if you're looking to add a block to your already dialed in presets, it's right there for you to do. Also worth noting, this is a tour rehearsal, and yes, I am bringing my Helix. Um, I tried the other units, it's just not working out for me as far as the touring set goes, so I'm sticking with the Helix for now on the road. See you in the next one.